there are a multitude of stereo miking techniques used to record small ensembles. Today we're going to demonstrate three of the most common approaches for stereo miking on our string quartet. Here we have an AT4050ST stereo condenser. This mic contains one cardioid and one figure eight element configured in a mid-side arrangement and one housing, providing maximum flexibility and ease of setup for stereo recordings. The AT4050ST features three output modes, a standard mid-side output mode and two internally matrixed stereo modes of 90 and 127 degrees. Mike is set to mid-side mode and placed 45 inches up and 5 feet back from the center of the ensemble. The next configuration is an XY pair. This consists of two cardioid microphones set with the elements as close together as possible, each 45 degrees off axis. Having the elements as close as possible to each other ensures that sound reaches both elements simultaneously for maximum phase coherence. The cardioid pickup pattern of each mic provides a realistic stereo image that is not overly wide. Here we have two AT4051B small diaphragm condensers, 48 inches up and 6 feet back from the center of the ensemble. Finally, another coincident technique, the Blumline Array. Just like XY, two mics are placed as close together as possible, 90 degrees off axis from each other. In this case, the mics are figure eight, like these AT4080 active ribbons. The Blumline array offers imaging similar to XY, but since the figure eight pattern picks up an equal amount of information to the rear, the Blumline picks up more ambience. The 80s are placed 42 inches up and 7 feet back from the center of the ensemble. Audio Technica has solutions for every stereo miking technique. On the stage or in the studio, Audio Technica has you covered.